Hello! If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, hit the notification bell, hit also the subscribe button so you will be notified for the coming video. Let us try to explain the truism that principles still apply for any new design, contrast, colors, shapes, and lines, whether done by hand or a machine. Let's have a review first. Directions. Rearrange the jumbled letters to make a new word that will complete the sentence. Number one. Blank is perhaps the most basic element of drawing. Number two, it deals with the lightness or darkness of a blank. Number three, blank is created when line is enclosed. It has a variety of uses in the creation of art. Number four. Blank elements of art that refers to the way an object feels, to the touch or looks as it may feel. Number five, an element of art that refers to the emptiness or area between, around, above, below, or within object is blank. All right, um, just stay tuned because I will be giving the correct answer for the review questions at the end of this presentation. Okay, so let's have first our pre-activity. Directions, draw a heart if the statement is true about the elements of art and a star if not. So write your answer in your notebook. Okay, there are five questions. Number one, there are computer programs that allow to blend color easily. Number two, when you create a design, all the elements and principles of art are not applied. Number three, new artists learn how to draw by using shapes. Number four, texture make a drawing or painting attractive. Number five, blending colors may be done manually okay we are done with our pre-activity again stay tuned because the answers of the review questions and the pre-activity questions will be given at the end of the presentation okay so what happened so i want you to look at the two artworks below can you see the difference? Can you identify which one is done by hand and which one is done using a computer software? Do you see the elements and principles of art applied in both the artworks? Whether an art is done by hand or using a computer, the elements and principles of art are still applied. What to know? Elements of art. So when a piece of art is created, you see the different elements of art applied. You see the different colors of various tones applied. Different shapes are used to form an object. And these elements are applied when using new technologies. Okay. So the primary colors are red yellow and blue and these are the secondary colors we have purple orange and green so when you blend yellow and blue the result is green so when you blend red and yellow the result is orange when you blend red and blue the result is purple so these are the basic shapes these are just because there are many shapes actually so these are just an example. Okay, these are the seven elements of art. We have line, shape, form, space, texture, value, and color. 
Okay, colors and tones. Colors make drawing or painting attractive and beautiful, but using a single color may not be very pleasing. Blending several colors to form a new color makes the artwork more attractive. So this one here, it is an apple with a single color. This one, an apple with a blended color. Blending colors may be done manually, and there are also computer programs that allow you to blend color easily. Your learning task number one, or activity number one, direction, open Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, draw an apple, then color it according to your like. Okay, you go to insert, select shapes, click for a scribble, and do your task. Then send it in our IFB group. Shapes. If you look around, Many objects are formed from the different shapes. So even those that you think have no regular shapes are formed from a shape. New artists learn how to draw by using shapes first. Now look at the figures below. Whenever you create a design, all the elements and principles of art are applied. Whether you do it manually or with the help of a computer program, the elements and principles are still applied.
All right, this is an image of a cat. Um, the cat was formed using the different shapes found in our Microsoft Word. Okay, so I added animation. All right, what was your first reaction to this artwork? Why do you think you had a reaction? How would you describe this artwork to someone who has never seen it? What I have learned. This is your activity number two. Directions. Complete the paragraph below. Choose the correct words inside the box. Write your answer in your notebook. So these are the words that you are going to choose. Okay. When a piece of art is created, you see the different blank of art applied. You see the different blank of various tones applied. Different blank are used to form N blank. So these elements are applied even when using new blank. Okay. So I hope you're able to answer this simple activity. Again, the answer of this activity will be given at the end of our presentation. To wrap up everything that we have discussed, we were able to discuss the elements of art, colors and tones and shapes, using shapes to form an image or animals, using colors to make an artwork attractive and beautiful. For your performance task, you are going to do shape sketches. Direction, use Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. Using the different shapes, try to form an image of an animal by simply connecting the shapes and color it to make it more beautiful. Okay, after what you have done, try to save it as quarter three element of art. Okay, as promised, this is now the answer for the review questions. Okay, I hope you were able to get it. Okay, um, this is the answer key for the pre-activity a while ago. Okay. Okay, very good. I hope you were able to get it again correctly.